Let's talk a little bit about how the eyes work before we go any further. So that will sort of illustrate what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, inside the eye, we have a lens, right? And the theory is that the muscle around the lens, when that contracts, when it becomes smaller, the lens bulges out. So it expands, it becomes thicker. So when it has expanded, the eye is said to have focused. The medical term is accommodation. The eye has accommodated, focused in other words. So that gives us the impression that the lens does everything. But that's not actually the case. If you talk to a physicist, then he will say, hold on a minute, uh, the cornea, the clear part of your eye, is actually responsible for 80% of your focusing. And that is what makes laser treatment possible. Okay. That part of your eye does most of the focusing. On. So if you blast off a few microns here, this part is half a millimeter thick. Think of a millimeter and then half of it. Right. So <clears throat> just a few microns is blasted off, and it has a huge impact on your eyes because this is such so a powerful part of the focusing system. Right. It doesn't change the fact that you're nearsighted. You're still nearsighted. It hasn't changed that. Okay. And also the problem with human beings is that <clears throat> we change, especially our hair changes, <laughs> right. color, of course. <clears throat> Laser surgery presupposes <clears throat> that your eye stays the same. This is mechanical. Right. There's something that's carved off. It's, if you were a machine, it would work. You, know, you just carve off a little bit that makes noise, and then your, your wheel spins perfectly again if you are a car. But you're not a car. Right. So you change over. Each, each decade, you change in some different ways, right? including your eyes. Right? So <clears throat> uh, the lens is only 10% of the focusing, and the jelly that fills the eye is the remaining 10%. Right? So the lens is the, the smallest part of the whole thing. In fact, if you lose the lens, if the lens is taken out and no artificial lens is put in, then you would end up with the fifth line here. What does that line say? You can drive. So you could legally drive around Reykjavik without lenses in your eyes. That's the difference it makes. Right? So, <clears throat> but laser, I'm, I'm not an advocate of laser surgery. <laughs> of course, I think it is easier just to get rid of the glasses. There's no side effects. Right? There's nothing to be worried about. <laughs> One gentleman actually, <clears throat> uh, about six months ago, he sent me an email. And he was very upset because he had laser treatment. And now he had a cataract. But he couldn't have it removed because his eyes were too weak for the surgery. Right? So he was in serious trouble. So either he has to have a cornea transplant, or he has to live with the cataract, which, which causes blindness. Right? So he was very mad because his doctor didn't say that. The doctor was focused on the money. 